All right, we got a perfect wind, and he's right there, 55 yards out. Hello, and welcome back to Hunter Call of the Wild. So the other day, we were out here grinding really hard to try and find a diamond true rack whitetail, and actually, at the moment, it didn't happen, but something did happen right before that that you guys don't know about, and it was really cool. Even though I didn't see a diamond uh, true rack whitetail just yet, I did see something really cool and I want to show you guys what it is. And in case you guys didn't see the Diamond True Rack, well, this is the True Rack Whitetail. All right, guys, this is our chance. We got him broadside at 194. We're going for it. Shot looked beautiful. He smoked. I'm not even gonna take a picture. I'm just gonna look at him and pick him up. Yes! Oh my God, finally! After probably like 25, maybe 30 hours of looking for a true rack diamond whitetail, we got ourselves an absolute giant, 987. And now this is what happened right before the diamond true rack whitetail. Well, I've been looking for a giant diamond true rack all day, but I tell you what, this will definitely do. <laughs> this will definitely do. So that's a giant bull, but the problem is we don't have a very good wind right now. We're going to have to try and swing wide to the right side and get downwind of him. That way, maybe we can call him in. There he is. He's less than 100 yards away right there. Let's go prone. All right, so what I want to do is try and get over maybe like 40 yards over to the left side of us. That way, he comes over and the rest of them come over this way as well. He is on a need zone or a resting zone, so it's gonna be a little difficult to get him to pull from, from his zone, but I feel like we should be able to get him to come. I wanna get in that tree right there, but I don't wanna get ran over by all these other elk, so we need to get him to come kind of off to the side over here. And I gotta try and calm down a little bit too, because this is awesome. All right, I think we're gonna hang out right here. And I'm gonna hope that that brings them in. I could put on another call just to make sure, but... Nope, they're coming. I hear them. I hear them. Oh my god, I hear them. Now, I don't... Hopefully we can get around the back side of them. We have cover spray on. Oh, come on. They're gonna be right on top of us. I'm really hoping they swing around us. Okay, good. We're almost there. We're almost in position. I don't see the diamond just yet. But he should be coming any minute now. We're about to have full cover here. And the host just left. So we do have full cover, but I do not see the diamond yet. Where is he? He's way, way in the back. Oh, man, 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 man. All right, now we got to try something else. We got a call here. Or are they gonna come? I feel like they should come. Man, are they gonna come? I don't think so. We got a call here and we gotta make our way over here really, really quick. Okay, we spooked the little bull. We did spook the little bull. But the big one should be back there somewhere. Where is he? Okay, good. There's the big bull. There's the diamond. He's kind of hanging tight. It looks like... Actually, I think he might have spooked. But then he stopped. So, we're going to have to try a plan B. We got to try and get closer to him. We got to come to him. We can't let him come to us. Because it doesn't seem... He doesn't seem to want to come in. Got a little tiny bull elk here. These little ones are kind of messing it up for us, to be perfectly honest. Yep, that's exactly what's happening here. Alright, we got a perfect wind, and he's right there, 55 yards out. He's just got to come a little bit closer. Come on, come on. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. 
Man, he doesn't want to move. He does not want to move. That's how you know he's big. Really big. Oh! That wasn't cool, man. That was not cool. Come on. Just a little bit. So at this point, I'm trying to call just a little bit to get him going. Oh my god, here he comes. Oh my god, here he comes. Oh my god. Look at the size of this bull. Holy, he's huge. He's huge and he is 41 yards out right there coming right towards us. He should keep walking. Okay, he's going to be about 30. Come on. We just got to give him a stop. Turn Broad's eye for us. I don't want to go for a hard shot, but I will if he hangs tight right there. Yes! Oh my god! What a beautiful, absolute perfect shot. And look at the way, look at the position that that giant went down in. Oh god, he's huge. We have to get a consecutive harvest check here. There was a ton of alcohol around us now, but I don't see anything nearby. There's a bunch of moose over there. Uh, I'm going to try and call these elk back. Because those moose are on the other side of the lake there. Yeah, we are going to pat down some of this grass here and take a look at this giant. I have no clue what the harvest value is going to be like right now, so... That's why I really want to get some of these elk to come back, which they should. They should come back. Oh man, look at that. Wow. Oh man, I do not want to take a shot on a moose, but we're going to. Don't really have a choice at this point. All right, good. Let's go run over there really quick and pick her up. I can't believe none of those elk came back in, but at least we've got a moose down here. Let's pick her up. And we're at 100%. So we're good over here. Now let's go back here and take a look at this giant bull elk we took down with the bow. Oh, there he is. And let's pick him up. Yes, he's a diamond, 959 with a trophy rating of 371. Oh, he looks huge. He weighed 1,059 pounds. I knew he had the big rack on him, but beautiful shot too. Looks like we made a heart, double lung, liver, and stomach shot at 19 yards out. And instead of finding a true rack diamond whitetail, I will definitely take another diamond elk, especially with the bow. And wow, wow, that was, uh, it was a little bit scary, especially the fact that we had to go all the way over across the other side of the lake to get a consecutive check. And I didn't know if we were gonna get back in time. And then the host literally just left while we were running over there. So all these things were happening and I'm so happy. Yeah, he does have the big rack on him. That's why I thought he was gonna be bigger, but he didn't quite weigh enough to break the the 970s mark, but yes, another diamond. Oh, that's so awesome. Let's get him mounted. All right, guys, here we are back at the Trophy Lodge, and here is our 959 scoring diamond bull elk we just took down with a bow. Man, that was one heck of a hunt. I honestly didn't think that he was gonna come close enough for us to take the shot. Uh, the whole entire herd of elk spooked except for him. Luckily, he came in and we ended up taking a perfect heart shot on him as he was facing at us like that. I didn't want to take that shot. I don't recommend it, especially since double lung with uh, the 600 grains will give you 100% for integrity and quick kill. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you are taking a front on shot like that, always aim lower than what you think. Because if you hit high, a lot of times you're going to hit what I call the dead zone, which is right above the heart and in between the lungs, which... There's nothing really there. So if you aim low, and if you hit below the heart, then there's a good chance you're probably gonna catch the heart. 
which is what we did on this giant bull and we took him down with the hawk edge bow so that's actually our second diamond bull elk we're gonna have to this trophy lodge both of them did come from the bow so that was pretty awesome and i think that's gonna be a good way to end this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time man he looks good he looks so good here